<laughs> I don't like starting. Okay. <clears throat> How about Happy New Year? Welcome. Welcome to Monday Minutes with the Murrays. Happy New Year. We're so glad that you're here. And we're glad. Anyway, so guys, we're gonna, um, we've decided that we're gonna come to you um, every Monday with some minutes from the Murrays and just kind of use our own experience and just put out a challenge um, because that's what we wanna do. We wanna be challenged and we want to be motivated and inspired to dig in deeper and to just kind of, I'll just uh, touch on a personal story of uh, this last week. I know everyone's talking about New Year's resolutions and special words. My word is supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> um, do you have a word or? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not really buying into that thing. Yeah, so. yeah that's, that's why my word is that. I don't do words, but um, great that you guys do if you do. Um, I'd love to know what your words are for the year. Um, but anyway, so this past week, I've been like, okay, setting some goals. And um, so just a couple of them, for example, are I've decided that I don't want our family to eat out from Monday, no, not Monday to Friday, from January to April. I don't want us to eat out. Um, we between that month. Um, another one specifically for me, I decided to do more events, okay? That's, um, if we're talking business, that's where I have been lacking is doing events. I know it, I know it. I'm queen of excuses when it comes to that. Um, I give all kinds of excuses. Right? Like I, I say, we live in a small town. I don't know anybody. I'm busy. The kids are always with me. My house is a mess. Um, I can't afford to rent out venues. Like I'm not going to do that. And, and nobody will come. Like I have all the excuses in the book. All of them. And yeah, that's why I was challenged. But um, we're going to talk about kind of the difference between deciding and actually doing. Okay? And so this is where Murray's going to feed us our nuggets. So... <laughs> Uh, okay. Well, yeah, I think it's that time of the year when everybody has New Year's goals and resolutions and things they're going to change in either their personal life or their physical life or their business world or their marketing world or whatever it is. They're, they're, they're making plans to make some changes, right? Because it's just natural. Start of the year, January 1st, it's just natural inside of us to go, it's time to make change, right? We could make change at any point in the year, but for some re reason we're driven uh, during this time to, to make changes, to make plans, to make goals, as Chris just referenced about what she's planning on doing both in her family, but also in her personal business. So the challenge we have today in our, in our, our Monday Minutes with the Murrays is what are you going to do about it? Like, what are you actually going to do about these? So we've got two challenges today for you folks out there. Um, I'm going to try my best to not use the social media catchphrase, you guys. I'm going to try not to do that, uh, but it might pop out a few times. So the first one is, there's no time like right now. There's no time. Um, you're, you're in a spot where you have a fresh start. A reset button is pushed and everything can happen in this moment. The key is going to be to jump in and act. Far too often we sit back and uh, we, we, we play games with ourselves, we play games with our minds and say, well, we're not ready. It's not ready. Just like Chris just said, I'm not ready to be able to do these, uh, these events. I don't have the resources to do these events. I, I have all of these different excuses as to why I can't do it, right? And whether it might come from a little bit of historical bias, right? We've, we've had an experience, we've had... Um, something that's caused us to always question action um, and when we're going to act. And we have to have it all set up and it have to have that perfect feeling before we act. And, and I'll, yeah, just, I'll it, just cut you off. Sure. That's like for events for me, I've, I've ran a couple where I've had no shows, nobody showed up. And, and that leaves me going, I don't want to do events if I don't have anyone to come to them. Mm -hmm. And, and that's what you're kind of saying. Like, don't wait for the resources to be there. Like do it, build it and they will come do it. And the resources will come when they see that you're still there and being consistent. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, you know, I, I think back to all kinds of times where any of us in any leadership capacity or as parents or whatever it is, we, we do have the historical biases that make us uh, question action. And uh, I, I get a quote here from John Maxwell, and it says um, that winners do right uh, and then feel good, 
whiners want to feel good and then do what's right. And so the point of that is, is that as a winner, we act, we, we go after it, right? And then we feel good with our action afterwards. And whiners are the ones that, ha that are always complaining, right? There's always something, there's some reason why. And then eventually if they can get there, they might act and they might be, have a good feeling about it. But most times they don't, right? Most times they have regret. Um, and you know, in the world that, that a lot of you that are listening are in with Monate, uh, there was an opportunity just recently that went by the wayside that a lot of people are probably regretting that they didn't act on, right? There was an opportunity to be able to get into the founders area and they just, they did, they chose to not act in that moment. They had every single reason and for some justifiably so, but for most, there's going to be, there's going to be the people looking back at that opportunity and saying, if only, and what we're trying to say is, is we act now. There's no, don't do the if onlys later, act now. So that's the first thing we wanted to challenge you on is, is there's no better time than right now to act. Put the situational biases behind, put the historical experiences behind and act now. Chase after it and go for it. Decide, first decide what it is you want and then act, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you bet. Yeah, yeah I, I think the second point is um, it's all going to come down to how bad you really want it. Um, a friend posted on social media the other day that um, what, what they said was, is, you know, we, we really, when it comes down to it, we, we have all kinds of excuses, but it's really about how bad do we really want it. And, and you know, there's a lot. Of and I think back to when we were kids, right? When we we're kids, uh, we really want something, we go with reckless abandon, right? We go and get it. We want it. We're going to do it. We're going to go after it. There is none of that historical bias. There's no experience that's pushing us back to say no. But then as we get older, that becomes an influence in our life, right? We think about that time that it didn't work out or that, that time that we tried it and it wasn't as successful as we hoped it would be. So what ends up happening, the pursuit of how bad we really want it gets affected and we don't really go after it with the same type of abandon, right? We don't go after it as passionate as we used to when we were kids. So I think that's the second part to our challenges is, yeah, determine what it is that you really want to take action on and then go after it like that, like that child chasing after that, what they want, right? Just go right after it, chase after it. Um, how bad do you want it? Demonstrate that you want it really, really bad and you want to go after it. I think um, uh, when we were at Monations, we heard from Tim Tebow and he spoke on convictions and emotions. And even though we say we want something so bad, like I really want to hit the next rank so bad, but if I'm not convicted enough in that and I let my emotions take over, that's, that's super easy. I think that's I thought that was Winnie crying. Um, <laughs> I think that's that's in all of us. Uh, we just we let our emotions take over. Like, oh, I'm too tired. Like, oh, I have this going on and this going on. My baby won't sleep. It's been a, it's just been really hard. And my husband's away. And da 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 da. But um, if we if we if we listen to our convictions, and I think if we just remind ourselves, like if we, I think whatever the goal is, and I actually posted my goals here on my kitchen cabinet, um, so that I can see them uh, daily, because this is where I am all the time, live here, um, and so if I can see them then I'll be reminded. But then the other thing is to have that accountability, uh, an accountability partner, and so for me, I've, I've spoken it to my family, and so the whole eating out thing, everybody knows. So if I want a burger really bad, which I've, I've wanted, I'm not gonna lie, the kids will be like, mom, you can't, there's a freeze on eating out. I'm like, I know, we can't. And so I'm held accountable by them. And so that's what I think you need to do. You need to write it down and you need to have that accountability partner um, so that when you're not doing the action, your partner can say, um, excuse me, what are you doing now? Okay, let's get to work here, right? Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I totally agree. And I think it's, it's not letting the excuses, don't become kings and queens of excuses. And then, do you want to sing that, that song? No, no, I'm good. He, he's <laughs> it's quoting. a DC Talk song. I used to quote it all the time how, when I was how coaching. Does it go? I, uh, I am the king of excuses. I am the king of excuses. I've got one for every selfish thing I do, and so I, I a lot of times we we do right. We just we we come up with all those excuses as to why. So don't let that happen. And then if you have that accountability relationship, you know. Accountability isn't just, you know, you say to the person, hey, here's my goal and here's what I want to do and here's how I'm going to go after it. And then you've given that to them and they and then they just go, okay, great. 
you have to recognize that sometimes in accountability um, that there's going to be a challenge and you have to be willing to accept that challenge back, right? Because that's why you've set up that relationship. Same with mentoring, right? When you find a mentor or an accountability partner, you need to expect that they're going to challenge you, right? They're going to challenge you because you've taken the time to allow them to be a part of what you're doing and you don't want to waste their time, right? So when they come to you and say, you said you were going to do this, why aren't you doing it? You said you were going to do that list or you were going to do this call or you were going to do that event. Why haven't you done it yet? Accept that and go and move on. Don't 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 come up with another excuse or don't go, "Oh yeah, you know, no no no, that's not what I meant with accountability." That's what you meant with accountability. So let them help you be accountable. Mhm. Okay. Done. So decide. Decide what you want to do. Act. Act now. Don't wait, act now and... Get your goals written down. Yeah, well, that would be part of decide what you wanna do. So decide what you wanna do, write down your goals, act now, and find how, an how an bad do you really want it? Find an accountability partner. <laughs> we have all these, we're throwing them all out. Find an accountability partner, all right. okay? Yeah. And just do it. Um, and then I'll just finish off with um, a story that John Maxwell said that his dad would always tell him. Um, so he would say, <laughs> Five frogs are on a log. Four decide to jump off. How many are left on the log? <laughs> the natural answer are... Is. Is. <laughs> are one. Is one. Is one. No, there are five. Because just because they decided to jump off doesn't mean they mean actually acted. They did. Thanks for joining. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Monday Marie Minutes. Monday Marie Minutes. Tune in next week.